So Halloween is in a few weeks, and if you're not very artistic like myself, this is a perfect simple dish to make. And there's leftover chili for the next day. So first, we're gonna need some colored bell peppers with flat bottoms that can sit up like these ones. And then we're gonna cut the tops off and remove the seeds and the pulp inside. And I'll give the inside a quick rinse. Now we can decide where to put the face. And we're gonna cut out little triangles for the eyes, a nose optional, and then a larger triangle for the mouth. And that's the extent of anything artistic we have to do. And here we have a little jack-o'-lantern. I'm gonna do the same to the other peppers. And then boil for five minutes, and drain and set them aside for later. Meanwhile, I'm gonna dice two tomatoes. and one jalapeno. I'm gonna remove the seeds because I don't want it too spicy. And then half a large onion. Now we'll pour some oil into a medium-high heat pan, add the onions, and our jalapenos, and then cook for a minute or so before adding our extra lean ground beef. And once the beef starts to brown, we can add in one can of kidney beans. And then our tomatoes. Now we're gonna season with salt. pepper, cumin, hot sauce, and paprika. And I'll include all the ingredients in the description below. And we'll give it a nice stir and then cook for a few more minutes. Turn off the heat and add lots and lots of shredded cheese. Now we're ready to stuff the peppers. And you want to have the face of the jack-o'-lantern facing upwards. And then we're going to fill it with chili. Being careful not to spoon in too much of the liquid. and do the same for all three peppers. So finally, the last step is baking for 15 to 20 minutes at 
375 degrees Fahrenheit. And here we have our chili stuffed jack-o'-lanterns that are almost too cute to eat. Happy Halloween, guys! Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.